Okay, all right, what are you guys doing here? It's crazy. I didn't know you were just in the middle of my kitchen. Oh, hey, God. how's it going? Hold on, one second. Oh. Sorry about that, amateur. Forgot to turn the volume down. Hey, how's it going? I'm so glad you guys came back. And if it's live, well, hello. If you missed my live video, well, feel free to watch the entire video because I got some great challenges coming up with the Shark AI. Yes, yeah, so I went ahead and checked out the Shark AI for about a week. Kind of got a good feel of how this guy does. Um, spoiler alert, the navigation is really good. I did some mapping of my house. I only took two tries. So the first time it maps, it actually does the perimeter of your room. And then the second time, it actually maps out the carpets. So why does it map out the carpet, you're asking? Well, look at this, guys. This thing has an electronically controlled mopping system. So you've got, I believe, three different water levels. And this is ultrasonic. So they say it's about like 100 revolutions per minute. So this is really cool. And you can see, I only have water on my floor because I've been using a mopping system. You get about four different washable mopping pads, including the box. You also get a little trial solution. So this works with the uh, push, uh, I believe, mop system down there too. So it's the same solution, but I highly recommend using a solution, but you can also use uh, warm water as well. So I'm gonna do some crazy challenges. Uh, I got some bottles here, which were testing navigation. So we got clear bottles, we have plastic bottles, we got some cans. Also, I'm gonna test some black objects. So we'll see how well the laser navigation does. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. So as we go through this video, I will answer them as we watch the Shark AI clean. All right, so before we start, I'm just gonna talk about the box. I do like the box, it's very colorful. So good job Shark AI for providing a nice colorful box. So they really took care in making sure you're getting a good quality product, like out of box experience. So good job there. And this guy does work with Alexio and Google, so it's a nice touch. Okay, so it looks like we got some people on the slide chat. So let's go ahead and uh, put this stuff away. And the first thing I'm gonna test is the shark's ability to return back to the stocking station, which is right over there. So what I'm gonna do is basically move the shark to a location and we'll see if the shark can find the stocking station. So hold on one second, let me get cleaned up and we'll do the first challenge. Let's get this on here, let's just kick it out of the way. Oh, I bet they work so well. Guys, nice. push out of there. We'll get this stuff out of here. Let's see, where should we put the shark AI? Hmm. Let's put it over here. Where's the dock? Can you guys see that? Alright, so it spins in at 360 degrees like the Roblox, so it's trying to get its bearing within the floor plan. And it looks like it's going back to the stocking station, but we can make it that easy. Alright, Chuck, let's see if you can find your docking station now. Looks like I'm gonna win. I think I can defeat Well, what do you guys think? Did they do a good job buying a stocking station? Well, Shark AI, you're so smart. Um, let's try another challenge. Let's get some of these water bottles over here. Put there. Add some more water bottles. Put some here. Some over here. I'm just randomly putting some water bottles in different areas. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, grab this guy again. Might have to move the camera as well. Let's see. Uh, can you guys see that? Okay, here we go. Let's see how smart the shark AI is. All
All right, so as we see if the shark can find its docking station, I'm going to read some of the comments here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Josh says hi. Adam says hippie. Um, Diego wants to do a comparison of the Bob J and 6 and the shark. Ian says hello. Say hello, everyone. Thanks for watching my live chat. Uh, let's see. So, Jay Walker says, yeah, I've been doing some research. LOL. And then Ethan says, yes, I think it's going to go to his docking station. Uh, let's see. So, Typical Block says, wait, I'm confused. The LiDAR is built into the body of the robot? Yeah, so the technology is actually a uh, non-spinning laser system, like on the Roblox. So instead of scanning 360 degrees, it actually is built inside the body of the robot. Um, I believe it's a 2D sensor, it's not 3D, like on one of the robot vacuums, which was the Willybot laser eye, but I may take it apart one day and see exactly how the laser system works. Well, what do you guys think? Did the Shark AI do a good job navigating this challenge? All right, let's go ahead and keep going. I'm going to actually do the clean challenge. So let me briefly show you the app integration. Okay, so I'll pull up my other smartphone here since I'm using my main phone. So this is basically the main interface. I did see if the Shark app would work with uh, iPads and like tablets. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get this thing to work with my Galaxy Tab or my iPad. So it's only compatible with iPhones and smartphones. But let me know if you were able to get to work with the iPad. Okay, so basically if you press clean here, uh, this allows you to select the rooms. You also have the option to do a high traffic zone. So in my kitchen uh, near the uh, oven and the refrigerator, it's, there's a lot of mess. So I just put a little target there. Can you see that? It's kind of like a little square. And you just tell it to clean. I like the interface. It's very clean. Um, it's a lot easier than trying to find exactly where on the map to clean. You just basically tell it what room. And of course, you can label the room. For example, I can call it interway or hallway. Okay, let's uh, jump back here. Now, let's check out the map here. So even though the Shark AI's mapping is pretty good, like it can recognize a lot of obstacles, I find like this main screen here, it's a little confusing because especially all the overlays. So what you have to do if you want to see the actual map is you could just push these rooms away like this and you can actually see the map. But when I actually set up the interface, it was actually quite hard to do, and you could zoom in. So this is just part of my home I mapped out. Again, it only takes a couple tries to map out. The first time, it actually maps out the border, and then the second time, it will actually mark, uh, map out the carpet. You can see right there, this is the carpet. So when you do the mopping, it will not go on your carpet. So this is a nice touch. So I have a carpet there, and I also have like a little area rug in my um, laundry area. So I really like the Sharks uh, AI's mapping system. It's worked really well, but hopefully they can improve the resolution because it does kind of look kind of vague compared to the competitors. All right, so what you could do is you could label it, you can add a new area, you can merge the areas, you could delete the area. Yes, let's quit out of that. And I'll show you the zones here. So here's the zones, you could do labels, you could add a zone. So if we add a zone, you could do a no carpet zone. Um, you could do a no go zone and you also can do a high traffic zone. So there's a lot of options uh, what you wanna do within the map. So if you've watched my previous Shark IQ videos, I found that the Shark did really good. It was able to clean very well, but the downside to the Shark IQ was it took a long time to map. I believe it was like 30 runs the first time and then the second time it took like 35. So about 60 or 70 um, uh, people or, you know. Okay, so let's keep on going. Uh, someone says no one's talking. I hope you guys can hear me. Hopefully the audio is working. It should be working. Okay, let's uh, quit out of that. And we'll just go ahead and uh, go back. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do an actual uh, cleaning challenge. I do have a clean challenge back that way. So we'll tell the shark to start cleaning. Okay, we'll press the clean button here. Okay, so we'll actually just select a single area and we'll do the entryway and let's just do a single run just for the sake of time.
Now, one downside is I have to adjust the vacuum once it's running. I can't do it ahead of time. So let's make sure it's on its high max power mode. You can see that information now. All right, uh, thank you. I thought it was uh, my audio that was kind of getting messed up. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh... Sorry for the shakiness. Someday I'll get a gimbal. read these comments for a bit. So, typical block says, I like how shark fixed the navigation, but forgot the self emptying bin. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I don't know what shark's plans are. Maybe they didn't want to compete with the shark IQ. So you either get a really good navigating robot with a shark AI, or you get the shark IQ that has the self emptying bin. Okay. Uh, Jay Walker 330 likes the S5 Max. So Jay Walker 330 says, what's the difference between the Shark AI and the Shark IQ? Well, the main difference is the Shark IQ has a self emptying bin and the Shark AI has the laser navigation. All right, uh, so Bassin says, uh, his mom left the i7, no problem, buddy. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll help answer about the i7. So the Shark AI does not have the ability to link up to the self-emptying bin. So QEB says, what robots are you selling? Uh, basically, whatever robot I do on this channel, I usually uh, sell it. Okay, uh, Normal says, also Bissell made new robot vacuum mop that has different mop attachments. It has two spinning mop pads. It's like vacuum mop combo that has two spinning mop pads on the back of the robo. Yeah, that's interesting. I might have to look into uh, the Bissell's mop slash vacuum system. So, Mathrax says, what is the LG Core Zeos R9 going to come out with it in the US? Um, I don't think LG is going to release the R9 since it's about two years old. Um, it's probably just going to be an overseas model. But you can find them on eBay if you search around. So what do you guys think of the Shark AI so far? Um, I guess the biggest downside besides not having a self emptying bin is even though the side brushes are unique, they do kind of scatter the debris around. Um, I did do a lot of testing with the single arm side brushes. And I think they're okay, but I prefer ones that have three or four arms. So Jay Walker 330 says, I thought I had a camera. Are you talking about the Core Zero or no, the Shark? Um, well, this version is laser based, but the other one, the Shark IQ, is a camera based. So there's actually two models of this. So how are you guys doing? Um, you guys having a good week so far? If you guys are working or are you guys off, uh, let me know in the comments uh, how's your day going. So the reason I'm able to do these live streams is my uh, daughter actually went back to school. So it allows me to uh, have more free time to do more of these live stream videos. Oh, okay, well, have fun in school, Jay Walker. Uh, I know some people are doing their Zoom, so they can stay home and uh, go to school. Uh, Brian B, where are you at if it's Saturday? I believe you're, uh, what, 16 hours 
Or, I don't know, Saturday for you. I guess it's just the work schedule. Nicholas says, Rip, I have a test in 10 minutes. Um, uh, Cody says, love your channel. I have an S9 Plus for a week, but the brush roll just start, uh, st stopped working, so I returned it and got the T8 Plus. Love it so far. Nav is fantastic and power is great. Well, that's great. Uh, let me know what else you like about T8 Plus. Um, do you have the self emptying bend? Do you like how well it performs? I have heard that uh, some people say that it struggles with hair. Um, let me know how you like the self emptying bend. So Jay Walker says, what's the T8 Plus? Well, it's basically an Ecovacs model that has the camera based system. Um, it depends on what you get. If you get the AIBI, it's a camera based system. If you get the non AIBI, it uses a uh, laser system. Okay, so it looks like we're about halfway done. We'll see if the Shark AI can get the material over there. I have noticed that the side brushes do struggle around the, the corner areas. So Kiwi says, uh, I do high school math during middle school. So are you just a, a couple classes ahead or something? Or are you in middle school, high school? Well, it looks like the Shark AI sometimes uh, can track the water bottles and sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I've had this issue with the other robot vacuums I've tested, like the Roblox. Uh, like the S6 Max V and also the T8. Sometimes it does good recognizing the object and sometimes it forgets the object and just pushes them around. Well, Kiwi, uh, good job. Uh, you're pretty smart. I was never uh, good at math. Um, I think the highest math I went to was like algebra. Adam says, Adam says, uh, shark robot backs and sometimes are uh, synonymous. Cody says, I have four golden, goldens and they shed a lot and I missed the bin full sensor. But I just fixed it by programming sections at different times so it does not go to get to full. The bin has no issues yet. That's good. Um, yeah, so usually if you don't have a bin sensor like on the Roombas, uh, just basically do sections of your house and the robot, after it's done clean, will go back to its self-emptying bin and empty itself. So that's a great trick. Thanks for sharing with us. Uh, Jay Walker, what's your favorite robot? Um, it's in between the iRobots, like the Roomba i7, the S9 Plus. I also like the Roblox. My favorite from the Roblox, uh, from the Roblox lineup is the S4 and the S5 Max. Uh, Brian says, I bought the T8 Plus and yes, here in the bin will not empty. This is due to the two exhaust holes in the bin in either side. Other than that, the bot itself is the best I have ever owned. Well, I'm glad that the T8 is doing good. I will have to probably do a uh, test with the hair on the T8. We'll see. So Kiwi says, why not the S6 Max V? Um, well, even though I like the S6 Max V, I think the extra couple hundred dollars isn't worth it. And especially with the 2500 Pascals, I believe that the extra 500 Pascals wasn't worth the extra money. I do try to evaluate the performance, the price point of the vacuum, and also like how well it does. Um, so if I had to just pick one, the Roblox S4 would be my choice because it did do the best out of all the Roblox. Uh, Domo says, nobody, me, school for robot back. Uh, Tim says, do you think the iRobot i7 is better than the DBot 950? Um, well, it really depends on what you're looking for. I think the i7 overall is a better robot because it can handle more dirt and debris, especially if you get the Plus series with the self-emptying bin. Also, iRobot Roombas have been known to last a long time. Some people have them for about 5 to 10 years, depending on what model it is. Uh, now for the 950, I haven't personally tried out the 950, but I did try the 960. Alright, so it looks like the Shark AI is done. Uh, I'll go rotate the camera again.
so yeah, so I had the 960. Um, basically, the 960 was okay. It did have issues with mapping, so that's just one thing to consider. Um, I don't know about the T8. I didn't really experience a lot of mapping problems, but on the previous generations of like the 900 series, I did uh, experience mapping issues. So if it was my choice, I would probably go with the iRobot i7. Uh, Cody says, do you know if iRobot has a patent on the bin full sensor, or is it just others don't want to spend the money on the sensors of their robots? I'm not 100% sure why other models uh, don't have this system. Um, I know previous Ecovacs did have a bin sensor, so that's just something to keep in mind. All right, so what do you guys think? I think for the navigation challenge, it did really well. I was able to navigate most of these water bottles, but let me spin around again. And you can see that it missed a lot over there. So that's kind of a downside. And there's still a lot of dirt and scatter. So more than likely, I probably would have to run this guy again. Um, I guess, what do you guys think? You want me to continue with this live stream? I could do a second run and see if it can pick up over here. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. And if you have any questions about the app or anything, uh, let me know and I can answer it in the live chat here. Oops, and I'm in the wrong section here. Let's see, let's go back to the app and we will do it one more time. We'll just do, okay. Let's just do the entry rate and we'll just do it once one more time. Okay, so we'll just do this one more time. Um, I'm going to make this challenge interesting again. I'm going to add some more boxes and stuff. So let me do that real quick. So I can use it. Do apologize for being plain. Let's see. Hope See if we can fuse this thing. Let's put this chair over here too. All right. We'll see if the uh, robot can find its way. I might have uh, confused it. Uh, Normal says, I tried schools in Turkey. Uh, middle schools are teaching high school math. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Chi Chi says, auto emptying Roblox. Yeah, that'd be uh, cool. Hopefully, Roblox someday will provide a self emptying system. All right, come on, Shark AI. If you could do it. Uh, keep in mind that these tests are kind of out there. Um, I just try to stress test these robots. So these aren't like typical environments. Uh, Tim says, I find some robots can trap themselves into a room by pushing the door shut. With laser nav bots, I can avoid this with tiny keyboard zones. Can you do the same position with the iRobot spot? Um, they're not very accurate. Laser systems are more accurate. And it looks like the sharp AI is trying to cheat here. Hey, what, what's going on there, man? Yeah, but if you want precision, definitely go with the laser based robot vacuum. Okay, so it looks like the Shark AI made its own path. I don't know if it's uh, confused or if it's going to try to still get that same cleaning area. So, uh, if you guys are still listening, what's your favorite tech product of all time? Besides raw well, vacuums or anything in general. Uh, Kiwi says the Shark AI is lost. 
Ah, uh, we'll see if it can find where it's at. Well, I might have confused it. Yeah, I think I confused this thing. Um, let's see. I don't want to make it too long. Let's Maybe move this guy out of the way. How's that? Maybe that's better. So I believe the reason why I got confused is if I was in a different area. Um, it does have to have some reference points. So if you put too many objects in one area, kind of like laser-based systems, they will get confused. So that's just one thing to consider when uh, you move around furniture. Oh, I guess it can't get through. Here, how's that? All right, Shark, now you're free. Just go that way. Okay, so we'll just do one more clean challenge, and then I'll wrap up this video. And I'll spin you guys around here. You guys can see it. Just has to get under my chair. Okay. All right, so if you guys are new to this live chat, uh, basically what I did was I just did some navigation challenges. Um, we're just testing out the new uh, Shark AI, so we'll see how well it does. And this is the second time around, so if you missed it, you can do the non-live version and start from the beginning, and I'll show you how well the Shark AI did. And stay tuned. Uh, I should have the actual review video probably next week. I have a lot of products you can see over there that I have to get through. So I've been quite busy trying to get through partnerships and do a lot of robot backing models. So please bear with me if I don't cover a certain model that week. So Normal says, I wish iRobot makes a robot that you can customize it and put what picture you want, put a text on it and stuff, it would be pretty cool. Are you talking about like a digital display or something or like a sticker? Because I know they make stickers for their Roombas. Yeah, it's interesting that it's still missing that part over there. Oh, a screen. Okay. So the only wall vacuums I know of that have a digital display was like the, uh, what was it, the Nidos, uh, the bot back D80s and stuff had a color display. And I think you could hack into it. Um, I don't know if I read this somewhere, but you could actually play Doom on it, that old original shooter game on the uh, robot vacuum. So that was an interesting thing. I will try to figure out where I found that source and I'll put a link down there for you guys. So what do you guys think? Would you guys buy the Shark AI or the Shark IQ? Uh, Kukino says hi. Hey, how's it going, man? So, let's see. Would I buy the Shark AI or Shark IQ? Um, I probably, if I had to choose, I'll probably get the Shark AI just because the navigation's a lot better than on the Shark IQ. I haven't tested the latest software for the Shark IQ, so I don't know if Shark was able to improve the navigation. So, if you guys do have a Shark IQ, let me know if it was better. I have heard in the comments that some people were able to map in one go around or even like two or three but from my experience uh, the shark IQ was just a struggle for me but the actual cleaning system was uh, pretty good um, Kiwi says I would buy the AI um, yeah I'd probably go with the shark AI and if they do come without uh, if they do come out with a self-emptying bin for the AI 
I think it's a good competition against like the Roombas and also like the Pacinic and the Nibots. So, what do you guys think of this navigation? Um, do you think it's as good as like the Roblox? Uh, let me know what you guys think about this Shark AI. Uh, let's talk about some of the other uh, cleaning mechanics of the Shark AI. I did try to research it. So, if you go to the website, sharkclean.com, they actually don't mention this robot. You actually have to search it on the website. So, how I found out about the Shark AI was through Best Buy. I actually was just surfing the web and Best Buy actually uh, had it. So, it was interesting that Shark. Uh, doesn't actually mention it on the website unless you actually hunt for it. So I don't know why they're doing that, but that's just one thing to mention. So basically, the specs. I'm not. I don't know the actual like Pascal's or the loudness of the robot, but I think it's one of the louder robots out there. Uh, probably not as loud as like the Roomba S9, but it's fairly loud with that extractor bar. Um, one unique thing with the extractor bar though is it can clean out the hair, so it does pretty good with uh, pet hair and stuff. Okay, so it looks like we're about halfway done, and then once it's cleaned up, I'll probably wrap up this video, and stay tuned for the actual review video of the Shark Clean. I will showcase the mopping performance, also I'll do uh, some more navigation tests, and I think I'll do a head-to-head -head challenge with the Roblox S5 Max. Well, not, I'm sorry, not the S5 Max, but the S6 Max. All right, so let's see. Uh, I did test the Shark AI with uh, shoestrings. It's not too great at uh, untangling itself from shoestrings. Uh, it does get hung up a lot. So my recommendation is definitely try to keep your area tidy because these robot vacuums, even though they're getting smarter each day, they do struggle with different types of debris, uh, especially shoestrings. So pick up your power cables, pick up those cell phone cables so they don't get caught up. And now I had some people talk about the Roblox S6 Max V and how well it does with poo. Um, I think, to be honest with you, don't get it if you just wanted to avoid poo because even though it sometimes detected poo, sometimes it doesn't. So in this scenario, if I had the Roblox S6 Max V right here and it was like a piece of poo right there, it will not avoid it because of the lighting effect because it's very bright right there. The camera won't be able to detect it. So that's a downside with camera-based systems is the lighting, the shadowing effects. Um, can really affect how well they can detect objects. All right, so anyone else want to say anything in the comments? I'm probably going to wrap this up in about five minutes or so. Uh, depending on how long the shark AI uh, takes. And if there's any robot vacuums you would like me to test on this channel, feel free to let me know. Uh, I did cover like the Ecovacs T8 recently, also the Nibot, but I'm gonna look into other robot vacuums. I might look into like the Nidos, like the D10. Um, I was kind of disappointed with the D10 because it kind of is basically a rebranded or uh, very similar to the D7. Uh, Kukino says Robot Wars, so like what were you talking about, having like a battle between the robots? Huh. Uh, Old Geek says, tried them all and Roomba is by far superior. Okay, uh, what model did you try? Did you, did you have like the i7 or the S9? And it looks like the Shark AI is done, so it's going to go back to its docking station. Oh, maybe it doesn't want to go back.
uh, Kukino says I have the Roomba E5. So you like the Roomba E5? I think it's pretty good for being a random based robot. So Min uh, says, what would you recommend for a vacuum and mop? One robot or two robots? A one for vacuum and one for mop? Yeah, I think the best performance overall is the combination between like either the iRobot Roomba i7 Plus or S9 Plus paired to the Bravo Jet M6. Um, or I'm sorry, com uh, paired up to the Bravo Jet M6. So yeah, it has that imprint link. But the best hybrid system is probably like the S5 Max for e or the Ecovacs T8. So Dude X says, is that the back mop pro or just the back mop? It's the pro version. So the only difference is the pro version comes with the cleaning system or the electronically control bopping system in the box and the uh, non-pro version does come with it. I believe it's like a $50 difference. I could show you the Best Buy uh, website here. Let me turn on my tablet. Let's see, so here's the actual Shark Clean website. Oh, I'm sorry, Best Buy's website. And here's where I buy it from. And it has some information. But basically, I believe it was like 470 for the Backmark Pro and like 420 for the non version. Okay, so I'm basically going to wrap up this video. Hopefully, I can see myself. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you didn't watch the entire live stream, just feel free to jump around if you want to see the clean challenge or my navigation challenges. I will have the actual video up in a couple weeks. I have a lot of files to get through, so bear with me. Um, thanks again for watching. You guys have a great rest of the week. And uh, be safe out there. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.